great, amazing scene here on the island of Kauai. I'm not going to mention the exact beach and I will be explaining why in a couple of minutes. I went for a swim, starting to uh, work on my tan a little bit. I got a ways to go. A beautiful spot as you can see. A bit of a uh, remote beach here on Kauai and I'm going to uh, start walking back to the car, to the uh, parking lot where I have a rental car and get out of the wind here and get to a trail here that goes back behind the beach and I'm going to be uh, showing you guys something pretty cool which uh, I showed in some other uh, videos or yeah a few other videos but one in particular from the last time that I was on uh, Kauai which was 2015 so it's been three years bummer about uh, all this garbage Other than that, pretty ultimate uh, island paradise here. All right, get uh, started walking down this path here. And you might notice that I'm shooting in super view, the uh, wide angle, just uh, for something a little different. I know not everybody cares for it, but it can be kind of cool to uh, capture more of what's going on. Another uh, like road going up that way. I'm not sure if I've ever followed that up. It's a nice, long, uh, skinny stretch of beach here. But get back here where it's a little quieter and get to uh, show you something from my past traveling experiences. And so I've been to Kauai here nine times. This is my ninth time to Hawaii and every time I've come to Kauai on two uh, previous trips I also went to the islands of Oahu once for a week and the big island once for a week and both times I then came to Kauai after that. Look at how uh, lush it is here. You can barely even see the trail. What a beautiful day. It uh, poured down rain for a couple of minutes and then it's been kind of back and forth a bit between clouds and sun and that little bit of rain. And so coming up, this might be it right here or maybe it's no, no a little uh, further. Some really uh, thick rainforest here. So green. And so, as I said, then I have been to Kauai before, and I actually lived here uh, twice in 1998 and 2011 and 2012, both for about six months each. And one of the times I lived on this beach, not for uh, the whole six months. I had an apartment for, uh, six months and then I lived on this beach here, this very one, for seven weeks and so uh, if you recognize the beach please don't uh, mention it in a comment because I don't want to popularize uh, this beach looking for the spot where I camped. And so the uh, story how this ended up happening, I'd been uh, living on uh, Kauai here for uh, six months in an apartment and I just wanted to uh, try to save up more uh, money because I was just kind of breaking even. I had uh, these two landscaping jobs. Hey folks, so I'm hard at work at my landscaping job here. It's an amazing uh, sunny afternoon here and I thought I'd give a quick little tour of what I'm up to. The first thing that I'll point out is that right down there is a parking lot that is uh, the parking lot to go to Secret Beach, which is one of the nicest beaches on the island. And now I'm in a uh, walk over to the little landscaping rig. That's my boss over there. And I had a bike and I would uh, take the bus and then uh, bike to my uh, landscaping jobs. Nope, this is not the spot either. So I was working, you know, three, four days a week, just kind of getting by, almost no uh, savings, 
left and I wanted to try to save up some money. And so I decided to move on to this here beach and continue working the landscaping jobs. And so I kept working. Then I had my bicycle and I uh, locked the bike up by the uh, parking lot and I would park the bike there and then hike down the trail here. And I had a uh, tent set up actually two tents and then I would sleep here for the uh, night and every uh, evening I would swim in the uh, ocean there I did not take a shower for seven weeks a proper uh, shower except once when I uh, snuck into a nearby resort I know you know not everybody will be approving of that but uh, you know it doesn't involve much sneaking they don't even have any uh, any signs saying like no guests or whatever or no non-guests and uh, so you can just kind of walk in and uh, make use of their uh, jacuzzi. Here we go. And so I just did that once and uh, got a soak in a uh, hot tub and a real shower and other than that, then that right there was my uh, shower and my tent was right in there. It looks different. Things are a lot more uh, overgrown. I. Uh, pushed away all of the uh, leaves and got it down to uh, bare ground. And then I took uh, sand and uh, used my shawl to bring uh, sand in uh, to this area and like covered the whole area with sand. And then I had a tent for sleeping in and then a separate tent, a smaller tent that was my supply tent. It was actually a tent that uh, I had uh, taken on my first uh, mountain biking trip to the Greek islands. Yeah. In 2009, and it was a uh, very lightweight tent. I happened to uh, have that one with me as well. And so one just had like, you know, canned food and various non-perishable food in it uh, so that I had more room in my sleeping tent. And then I would crash there for the night. And uh, I had a hammock set up right over here. You know, not a bad uh, backyard or front yard or whatever. Just head out and take a swim, kick back, relax in the hammock. But this was in winter, and although Hawaii is, you know, it's nice and warm, it's a bit late now, and even the uh, winters are, you know, relatively mild, obviously, compared to the rest of the United States or whatever. But still, the winters can be pretty severe. It had been like torrential downpour and, and flooding just a few weeks before I made this move out of the apartment and uh, onto the beach here. And so it would still be uh, stormy. It can get cool, very rainy, especially uh, in the evenings and nights. Then I would come back from my landscaping job, bike, you know, five, six miles, something like that here. I'd be all sweaty and dirty and stuff from from planting plants and doing various uh, landscaping and then um, it might be getting you know dark and uh, or at least you know getting into the evening and cooling down and it might be cloudy or uh, even raining and I didn't want to uh, crawl into my you know tent all super sweaty and dirty and stuff and so it was just my routine that uh, every evening I would hop in the uh, ocean there after I came down no matter how you know cool or or rainy or whatever it was and take a dip in the water and the water here is not as warm as you might think it is actually fairly uh, cold still not like Thailand or Indonesia or, or whatever I mean it's warmer than you know Northern California but but uh, still it is um, not exactly you know it's not a hot tub so anyways a trip to uh, revisit this spot here and so going to keep on walking and then just really quick uh, touch on like my travel plans so I just uh, flew here yesterday from California. So I'm all caught up with uh, um, videos for now. So no uh, videos, more videos from California. Um, so next videos will be Hawaii videos. And as I uh, mentioned, I have a rental car. It is super expensive, but I wanted to, uh, at least for a you know, week here, then be able to uh, 
get around with that. And then uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be uh, staying here. I have a uh, room for last night and tonight. And then after that, I'm going to be camping. I have a, a tent and stuff. Um, and I'm not sure how long I will be on the Hawaiian Islands. We'll see, just, you know, glad to be here in tropical paradise. It's amazing. It's great to be back after three years since I was last here, hanging out with my friend Sterling, working for her. Here's Sterling. Hey, just be slow Check about him. Check it out. There we go. This is my little friend. He likes mango. He came and said hi to me last time I was uh, making mango. She is now on the uh, big island. Maybe I'll visit her again uh, in the course of uh, this trip to Hawaii. I do want to uh, visit other islands, maybe Maui. We'll see. Of course, the volcano is going off. That is a different um, island. That is the far end of the island chain uh, here. And so that is absolutely no threat at all. But they did have catastrophic flooding here recently. And so they're recovering from that. All right, that's it. Just a quick uh, little update from Hawaii. Later.